Hello guys and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. I want to say that I know you guys don't like my videos, but I would really appreciate it cause I have over 30 or 20 views on almost every video, but don't get any likes or subscribers. In not forcing you but it would be really nice if I could get for likes on every video. But anyways I want to point out that this is the end of our park for now cause there aren't any more dinos to add. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Today I wanted to talk about the video itself and about other content that I will maybe do in the future. I wanted to ask you guys what games I should play in the future. But these are my ideas for now. If you want me to play any of these say it in the comments. Or if you have your own suggestion please tell me. Guys I also want to ask you what your favorite Dino is. I personally don't have one but if I had to choose, it would be one of these. These Dinos are probably pretty basic, but I actually love every Dino that is on the world. Also, I'm gonna make another park in the future, of course. So, it'll let you guys choose what map. These people always get stuck somewhere. They really need to fix this. Also, guys, if you are a Dino fan, tell me. What dinosaurs would you want that prehistoric kingdom would add in the future? And what mammals? I'm gonna make an apart video for that, so make sure to see that video when I make it. Also, guys, I ignore the constant restarting the game and checking if it's still recording. Cause I have so much visitors and trees and all that stuff. The game sometimes lags to hard and you have to restart. And I check if it's still recording cause you know I lost 1.40 hours of footage in the fourth part. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the finale. <laughs> As you can see we're making an indoor habitat for the patchy rhinosauruses.
Tyrannosaurus. I've been told that these dinosaurs are quite bossy. <laughs> Instead of a nasal horn, Pachyrhinosaurus sports an overgrown mass of bone called a nasal boss above its eyes and nose. It certainly lives up to its name, the thick-nosed lizard. Thankfully, the frill extending off the back of its head is hiding a secret. There are two large holes punched straight through the bone to relieve the weight of all those adornments. The holes aren't visible during life. As you can see, they're beneath all that skin and keratin.
Iguanodon, one of the first dinosaurs to be formally named. Iguanodon is also one of the first dinosaurs to be sculpted. The original sculptures can still be seen in Crystal Palace Park in London. The artist behind the sculptures, Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins, famously hosted an eight-course dinner inside one of the incomplete sculptures on New Year's Eve, 1853. How's that for a party?
whisper good morning so gently in my ear. Tyrant lizards. Tyrannosaurus is as big as the movies and yet somehow even scarier. Take a good look at those arms. Each arm is a meter long, can hold almost 200 kilos and ends in razor sharp claws. Far from the wimpy little stubs most of the public makes them out to be.
while your favourite dinosaur movie might have depicted the T-Rex with rather poor vision, brain scans have revealed that its vision rivaled that of modern birds of prey, which means that it's watching you just as much as you're watching it. Eerie stuff. Which means that it's watching you just as much as you're watching it. Which means Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and this is the end of Planet Dinosaur for now, and like always see you in the next video.